everyone, Karen here, and it is time for the last card in our series. This is for the 21. So let's go over the pieces that we have. So first we have the card base, which you will cut out like this, and then fold it in half. There is, of course, an inside with a, with a mat. And this one says, this is a milestone worth celebrating. May this year be filled with unforgettable adventures, new opportunities, and endless joy. And you can just print these out and cut them out in whatever you want. And I'm going to ink this here in a moment. Now, there's a lot of layers to this. Um, you have the layer that covers the whole front of the card, and it does have the cutout in the middle. I chose a pattern mirror card for that. Then for the layer that went around the whole shadow with the 21 and the balloons, I chose a light gray. I chose a black to go on top of that. And then there is a... Let me separate these. There's a 21, which I chose a mirror card that is in polka dots. And then this is going to go over the top, and I chose a red mirror card for this one. Then there is a happy and a birthday with a, a shadow. I'll put the happy together here. I put the birthday together ahead of time. There are three large balloons, and I chose mirror card in gold, red, and blue. And then there is also a party hat which has a couple pieces to it. So let's get started here. I will put this over here. And let's start with what we want to do with the inside here. So this has all kind of primary colors, and they're all kind of shiny. So I am going to choose a metallic ink that I have. The Midas ink from Crafter's Companion. And this is a gold, and it's kind of metallic, so I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to take my white cardstock here. I'm going to use a... Uh, a foam one for this because this is a metallic pigment ink and it kind of goes on better with foam. So I'm just going to go around this edge here. Just give it a little something. And the reason why I'm inking some of these instead of just using colored paper is it gives you a little bit different texture. just want to show you you don't have to do the same thing all the time. There's lots of choices. You could stencil on this a little bit, put a little edge on there. You could just pick it up and go along here. There's a lot of choices with this paper and what you make your shadow look like. All right, let's see if that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. That will be fine. Maybe I'll do a little bit more down here. This is a little light. There we go. That will be fine. All right, so these two will get glued together. Let me bring in my glue. Here again, this is the neutral pH. This is just put a little glue on the outside, and we will line this up. Like that. And we can take the card base. Make sure we're going in the right direction. When you fold this, just make sure you do fold it correctly to where the 21 is going to sit on top. Because you don't want to put this inside and then realize you have folded it backwards. So you could do this last if you want to make sure you folded the card in the right direction. But since I checked, I'm going to put this in first. And I'm going to put this in the middle, like this. All right, press it all down. And we'll put this to the side and let it dry. All right, so let's bring in all of our layers here. So I'm going to use the fine tip bottle for all of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the back and work my way forward. All right. All right, so this is our back. Then these two will go together like this. This goes on here. Right. So this one will go in the middle of this. Just a little glue. 
Okay, get all these little round parts here. And I'm going to pull this closer to myself a little bit. There we go. And this will go in the middle. So just a little bit of that pattern will show. All right, next is the gray, the black. It will go on top of the gray. And blue. And you know what? I'm changing my mind here. I'm going to put this on foam. Let me grab some foam. Got to call an audible here. here. And across there. Cut that little piece off so it doesn't show. And you absolutely could glue all these down without foam. Or you can put every layer on foam. It is completely up to you. All right, so let's line this up in the middle. Get this nice and close. That will go on there. Now these two pieces I want to glue together first before I attach it to the card. Because this outline is really skinny and I want to be able to hold the 21 in my hand to uh, line it up. So let's put a little glue around here, little dabs here, down here, over here. And right there. Okay. Because this is just going to line up right along the edge of the two and the one. So just use your fingers, get it into place. Kind of like when you put the uh, the shadow on the card base when it's the whole size of the card. Just kind of wiggle it into place there. Because it is such a skinny outline, it will flex a little bit. So just ease it in there. Where you want it. Now, if you think you're going to have trouble lining this up, use a glue that's going to give you a little bit more time. Don't use a fast grabbing glue. But you know, sometimes those slow grabbing glues are our friend. All right, so there we go. That just gives it a little different look when you put the outline on top versus putting it on a shadow. It just gives you a little different look. Okay, so now this is going to go on here. Then we're going to have the birthday on the bottom. And then we'll have the happy on the top. So let's go ahead and glue the happy down. Now, the thing to know about the happy is see how the H, the line is not in the middle that connects the two uh, sticks of the H? It goes on the bottom. So I'm going to grab my tweezers. Put a little bit of glue. Don't need too much. Move that up here. Here's H. And we'll do the A. Now the rest of it, the PPY. Okay. Do 
you put too much glue on, just kind of tap it. And line that up. Now for the Y. And the birthday goes on the same way. And I will say with the uh, little dot in the top of the I, if you lose that, you can just use a gem. It's about the right size. And this will go here in the middle. And there's our happy. All right, so the happy goes across here. So this little indentation here, right here, is where the H lines up for happy. So that will be there. Then we'll have our three balloons. So I'm going to put the red on the top to put it further away from the red that's on here. And then we'll have this and this. This is where I have to decide what else I want to put on foam. And we'll also have the birthday hat. So let's put that birthday hat together. So for the birthday hat, it has two little stripes on it and a little white piece for the top. So I'm going to put the white piece on the top first. That just kind of sits up here. Just kind of use your fingers to ease it into place. Now the two stripes, you're just going to want to lay them down first so you can see where they're going to go because they will be flush. And they don't go on straight. They do go on at an angle. And they will fit flush with the edge of the card. So just kind of lay them on there first so you kind of get an idea about where they're going to go. Then a little glue and just use your fingers to press it into place there you go it should be flush on both sides now we'll do the red. And then we can decide what else wants to go on foam. That is still too much glue. There we go. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so let's start gluing this down. So let's start with the balloons. So I know I'm going to put the red one down flush. And we're just going to line that up with the top here. Just going to do what I said in the beginning, start at the back and work our way forward. Now at this point, you can take the, the gold and the blue, or whatever color you cut them out in, and put those up on foam if you want. So I think I shall. We'll put a piece behind the gold and a piece behind the blue. Right, the blue will go over here and just follow the outline of the card. I'm going to cut this little piece off so it doesn't stick out. All right, so I'm going to turn this. This will go here, like that. All right. So then we have the 21, which will go next. So we need at least one row of foam for the 21 here. And this is the 1 16th foam, so you can put up to four uh, layers of this, and you'll still be within the guidelines for the U.S. Post Office. That's the nice thing about using the skinny 1 16th foam is that you can use multiple layers and not, not have a problem. Oh, let me put one more piece down here. All right, so this is going to sit like this. All right, so we'll take this off. Get 
getting a little glare here, so let's see if I turn it sideways. There we go. It goes on here. So now we have our birthday, which will go down here. And we will have happy, which is going to come across here. And a little party hat. Now the party hat is going to need a piece of foam in the back on the top part because we did raise the numbers up. We only need a little piece here. Okay, now this will get glued on here. Now you're going to want to line it up with the one and with the shadow. So I'm going to take the foam off the back and I'm going to put a little bit of glue across the bottom here. Now I'm going to turn this sideways so I can see it a little better. So I'm going to line up the shadow and the one and then it will fit just like that. Now what we have left is the happy and the birthday. Now we have two layers. Yes, we have two layers. So I can put this on a third layer if I want. But I think I shall. All right, let's, let's see here. I don't need it to be that wide. Just a little there. And a little here. And a little over here. All right, so let's put this on. So I'll line it up. See the little Y is going to get mat matched up down here. So you're just going to want to give it a little bit of a shadow. That needs to come up a little bit. All right, and the happy will go on the top. And you do not have to use all this foam. You can use as little or as much as you want. And this will follow here. And this will go here. And there we go. There's the topper, all done. So now let's just attach it to the base. So let's put some glue on here. And we will be done with this series of cards. So this is going to fit flush on the front. Let's make sure it's all straight. This one's a little crooked. that up at the bottom. There we go. That's a little better. There we go. That's much better. All right, so here it is. 21. Open it up. There it is. So I hope you enjoyed this series of shaped number cards, and I hope you find them useful. For when you want a numbered card, they're all right there, ready to cut in the SVGs. You can go back to any of the videos and refer back to how I put them together if you have any questions. And until next time, stay crafty.